It's 3.51, you guys, in the afternoon. In my last video, I, I loaded up on the thing. I didn't discuss it, but I should have, and we're going to this evening. Um, the uh, apostasy, okay? This is what I'm seeing on YouTube. The apostasy of the church, okay? They're bringing it on YouTube, and, and these people, they're spiritually led to do what they're doing. They're... If they were of us, they would have been with us, been among us, but they're not of us. And I'm not saying we're righteous, more righteous than anybody. I'm just saying that it's not meant for them to know. It's meant for us to know, and that's it. You guys, I told you in the beginning when this started for me, I, uh, and a lot of people, mockers, scoffers come up against me on this. This is in Acts chapter 17, verse 30, 31. I never knew this was in there when I had this happen to me. Listen carefully, because I had this happen to me when I seen a huge face up at the top of the store, and then I seen him going down an aisle, but he leaned so far back, like it would have been impossible for a, an, a human in the flesh to do what I seen him doing. And then he looked at me and he winked at me, okay? In other words, this is a time of ignorance that he winked at, okay? Listen to this. This is Acts 17, 30 through 31. In the time of this ignorance, God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. This is why I'm feeling what I'm feeling about the repentance. And when I hear this uh, being said, I don't like it. And uh, I see a lot of it. And it's the apostasy church that's coming on YouTube. These people are coming from different churches from wherever, all over across the nation. And now they're bringing it onto YouTube and they're trying to draw in as many people. This is spiritual, I want to remind you. It's all spiritual, okay? Because he has appointed the day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he had ordained, whereof he has given assurance unto all men in that he has raised him from the dead. So this is where we're trying to get the thing out, telling people to repent, repent, quickly, repent, you know, so they can make it in this rapture. And we got an apostasy church out there that's teaching unsound doctrine. That's why it says in the last days, these things will be happening. And this is what we're coming up against. That's why it was like really bothering me. And uh, it's what it is, you know. But I'm trying to understand all this at the same time, you guys. It's uh, it's not an easy thing to do, but uh, at the same time, I know that I was called, and it's and it's very difficult, especially when you're in a uh, look at what apostasy means. Christians were tempted to engage in various vices that were a part of their lives before they became Christians: idolatry, sexual immorality, covetedness, etc., deceptions. Uh, Christians encountered various heresies and false teachers spread by false teachers and prophets that threatened to seduce them away from their pure devotion to Christ. Now you hear that? Their pure devotion to Christ. That's where we have to be, uh, pressing against Christ right now, not of the world. All right. Persecutions. Christians were persecuted by the governing powers of the day for their alliance to Christ, many Christians were threatened with certain death if they would not deny Christ. Persecution is highlighted, okay? Um, the issue of false teachers' teaching is found in the uh, Johannine and Pauline epistles, in the second epistle of Peter, in the epistle of Jude. A number of sections in the writings of Paul and James focus on vices and virtues. These and other early texts help to shape the uh, tra trajectory of Christian response, the phenomenon of defection in the post-apostolic era. The Christians were to preserve through various types of oppositions, standing firm against temptation, false doctrines, hardships, and persecutions. These are the things that are going to be happening, you guys. Um, then the, you know, the classical reform Calvinism, 
Um, anyhow, we'll talk more about this around 5.30, okay? I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick. Yeah, I can see them up there spraying in blue skies. Like I said, we don't even know what's blue. If, if the blue's real anymore, you guys. We're in uh, times of trouble. God bless you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.